And I may have got bad information, but I'm pretty sure it's true that being in Salina, Kansas, this is the spirit Halloween that Justin Bieber usually shops at. <laughs> So guys, right now I am in Salina, Kansas, at some kind of a mall here. I'm not even sure what it's called because I can't read what's up there. But if you look very closely over there, you can see where there's a bunch of lights from fire trucks. So I hope everybody's okay inside. But it just happens to be right over there in front of the Spirit Halloween. Okay, there we go. We had to go through Dunham Sports to get in here to avoid whatever's going on down there. And, oh uh, yes, I can see it right here, guys. Coming upon the Spirit Halloween. I have no idea what this used to be, and it kind of appears to be a very small store, but we're gonna find out as soon as we get inside. I do like that sign, though. That is pretty dang cool. Okay, maybe it's not a small store. It goes all the way from here, all the way around and back in there. Wouldn't it be cool if you could buy this cart right here? Okay, let's go ahead and start over here, guys, where they have a small display, but they still have a display. Whoa, look at all the animatronics they got right here, guys. We'll come back to those in a second, but let's talk to the widow first. Hello, the widow. What the heck is she doing? Okay. Okay, so she cracked her neck, but she must be on the fritz here a little bit, because watch this. Look at, she just kind of keeps moving. <laughs> Guys, she even did it again. After I was standing here for a minute, she just kind of went like this. Like, man, that really did hurt. All right, they got poor George set up over here. Let's go ahead and get him going just because he's here. I know, sir, I hear you. You're very loud. You're kind of obnoxious. We're going to call it a date on you, sir. They have the straw man set up over here. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get him going. Come on, straw man. Did you know that this land the original farmer buried his victims in this He's just kind of jammed in there. He doesn't really fit right. And look, it's burning his elbow. Like, what if when he activated, he actually said, It's burning my elbow! All right, let's come on over here and see if we can get Gordo going. Come on, Gordo. Here we go. He's not lighting up very well. He popped up good, but he's not lighting up very much, if at all. Sorry I'm not so hyped up in this store, guys. I'm kind of worried about whatever happened outside with those fire trucks. But I don't want to go out and get in their way and find out, so let's just go ahead and continue with our tour. Look at all these awesome animatronics here, guys. Look, we have two eternal rests. We have two leather faces here. It looks like we have, okay, hold on. We have two little skelly bones and at least two or three dagger mics down there on the bottom we have a widow on the top here we have three darling is it three two darling dollies here we have a young crouchy on the top here we have two stilts we have one two three man's possessed friends two howling spirits a desmodus at least one slim okay we have two slims we have a black heart we have a straw man peeking out from behind the black heart two grave watchers two sitting scarecrows and six jumping spiders i feel bad for gordo because his light's not working so let's go Go ahead and leave some stickers. I do see we have some pumpkin stacks over here. We have this guy who I believe, does he shake? Wow. Yes, he shakes and he lights up. He is actually pretty cool. Okay, and then I see we have the hook eye guy, we have the hook head hog, and we have plenty, a whole plethora of the ham hocks. We have these guys down here who seriously need the Aquafresh and Tic Tacs. And we have all these ghoulies watching over the store. Look at this, we have Leatherface and Pennywise and Ghostface here. It's very strange that the only one they don't have is Sam. Usually I go into these stores and I see where they have like two, three, or even four Sams and nobody else. Do you know where Sam went? Hello, rat. Hello, creeping cats. They have all these dolls. They have some babies here. Actually, they have a pretty good selection of babies, but I'm waiting to get into a store and see some babies that I haven't seen, like some that have been stowed behind the scenes for a while that they forgot about, and then they just went ahead and put them out. Like, you remember the one that has the hands like this, and you can hang him on something, and he swings? I'm totally 
regretting not buying that guy when I saw him last year. A lot of people are loving these Haunted Mansion masks, and those are black light reactive. I was thinking maybe they would glow in the dark, but I don't think they do. I think it's just that you have to have a black light going. All right, let's go ahead down here and go around the corner. Wait a minute, here we have Empty Soul Girl, Empty Soul Girl, and singing, swinging, which she's not si Are you singing, miss? Sometimes, but not today. All right, let's continue out here, guys, and see what's in this other room here. It appears to be tons of costumes. Wow, this is a much bigger store than what I thought. Here's all the headstones here, the cemetery gates and fences. We have all the inflatables over here. More jumping spiders, of course. We have the five foot collapsible coffin over here. Lots of spider webs biohazard tape, fresh grave tape, warning tape. This is one of the coolest things right here, a bloody body bag. That is awesome. Lots of different pathway markers. We got the creepy lanterns up here, the bumpy, spooky pumpkins up there. We have the four-piece jack-o'-lantern pathway markers here. Those guys are pretty awesome. They could be louder, though. We have skulls here, decaying zombie groundbreakers, zombie arm pathway markers. These are awesome. I love how they flicker. All right, let's keep on journeying back through here. Oh, look at this. A bunch of people have been asking me about Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, here they are. We have Foxy. We have Freddy. We have Montgomery Gator. We have Glamrock Freddy down here. And that appears to be it, but those are pretty cool anyway. Whoa, look at this. It is a Jason Friday the 13th jersey. I have not seen that 31. What in the world? All right, let's keep on moving. This appears to be all kids' costumes back here. We have the Huggy Wuggy costumes here. Look, they're all kissy missy. I don't see one Huggy Muggy in the mix. You cut me real deep, Shrek. You cut me real deep just now. Oh, look at this. This is the best selection of Fall Guys costumes I've seen in any store yet. Look down here. We have the Blue Freeze. We have the Spooky Doodles inflatable. That may be my favorite one. We have the Chicken inflatable. Inflatable. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. We have the orange aid inflatable. We have the pink one up there. And I think that's it for this section. But that's still more than I've seen in the other stores. It's actually pretty tight through this section here. Let's go ahead and wait a minute. I gotta take it back because there is a Huggy Wuggy. Let's go ahead and keep on moving and make our way to the other side of the store. Some stickers for the cauldron. All right, let's make our way over here. And this appears to be the adult costume section of the store. And look at this. For the adults, all they have in the Fall Guys section is the Skelly Inflatable, which is cool enough, and the Blue Inflatable. I'm very tempted to get this guy right now. $59.99 for that guy. Yeah, it appears that this store is mainly all the costumes and everything else, even though they do have that whole stack of awesome animatronics up front. They just don't have a whole lot set up in here. Or did I miss them with my one eye? All right, somebody asked me to look at the Michael Myers stuff over here, so let's go ahead and take a look. Doesn't look like they have the biggest selection, but they do have the Halloween 1 mask, the Halloween 2 mask, and down here, the Halloween 2018. What is up with that fro? That thing looks like it's been through the car wash. All right, somebody knock this down. Let's hang it up. These are some pretty cool socks here. Welcome to Haddonfield. And this guy is not very cool. Barfamet, we call him. And that pretty much brings us back to out here, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the masks, though, real quick, just in case they would happen to have any that I haven't seen anywhere else. And here's one, Skeleton Bat Mask. What the heck is that thing? You gotta love the nighty night mask, and this is the kind that your chin goes right in here, and then he moves with your mouth. That's pretty cool. Hello, Grandma. Oh, we do have the new ghost face mask here, guys. That's a cool one. They also have the chrome mask, the regular one up here, the devil face, which is awesome if it didn't have those horns, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and here's Leatherface's saw. Let's see if it works if I pull the trigger. Yep. Pretty dang cool, that is. Look at this guy. It's called the Chrome Smile Mask. There's a big smile, but no eyes. 
That is a pretty dang cool mask. I've always loved the chrome looking ones, the metallic pumpkin mask here. And then over here they have the sinister ghost mask. They have this silver one above, which is the same one. Even the black one looks pretty awesome. And here's another chrome mask, but this one is completely faceless. Oh my gosh, here's these crowns that in one of the stores, you guys have probably seen this video. Yeah, in fact, you have seen this video of mine already. I went in and Darling Dolly was wearing this crown. And when I stepped on the pad to activate her, I totally expected that thing was gonna fly off her head and it didn't. All right, I think I looked at these and I did not go down this aisle here. I'm still on the lookout for those side steppers. I wanna see Chucky and I wanna see Ghostface and I wanna buy the Leatherface one even though I've seen him in a couple of other stores. The only side steppers I'm seeing are the Frankensteins, but we do have the walking zombie hand and the walking bloody hand. These are pretty cool. You literally turn these on, set it on the floor, hit the button, and it walks across the floor. And right above them, we have the butcher. There's three of these, actually, but none of the other side steppers that I've been looking for. So I think we're going to call it a day in here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get back on the road and move towards the next one. Down the hall here and around the corner is where all that stuff was happening with the fire trucks and that, but I'm not going to go down there. I'm curious, and I want to make sure that everybody's okay, but I'm sure the firemen are doing their job and making sure everybody's okay. Look at this lie cut to win you could win a ps5 not really all right guys that's it we're gonna take off but not before we take a quick look at the spooky stuff in this antique store window look at how cool this look how faded these blow molds are oh my gosh that is crazy hello pumpkin boy mm -hmm. 